hello students of class 9 student today we have the session 13 for understanding about the using functions and cell referencing children in this uh, session i will tell you about uh, the functions and cell referencing the as you know children ki ms excel uh, is a spreadsheet software used uh, for calculations presentation and analysis of numerical data the latest the some more exciting feature about as i told you earlier also but in this uh, session we will find about uh, the references formula and functions the used with the correct cell address in excel prove to be a truly helpful while doing calculations in spreadsheets the children as a cell address before moving forward let us as a revise the concept about as a sl address is a nothing but a intersection of rows and column where the cell is located so for example as we uh, sl a cell in the column uh, d so what would be here the row 4 has the cell address as a d4 so children about the cell address i will tell you by the image and then after i will tell you about the as a uh, here the cell address means uh, they are as a many cell address as a, like a, a cell address can be absolute relative or a mixed cell address relative cell address is one where the column label and row number are simply written side by side for a cell address and uh, absolute cell address is a one where both the row number and column label are preceded by the dollar sign this means that the absolute cell address for the cell located in the column and mixed cell address is one where either the column label or the row number is written as an absolute address and the other is written as a relative cell address so this means that the mixed cell address for cell, cell located in the column i mean and row the so children these thing i will tell you um, by practically that's why you can see properly and understand thoroughly uh, but here not using the as a application but i will tell you by as a under by here the as a images for better understanding here so let's have a look of this image and by this image you will be able to understand in uh, more as an accurate way so let's have a look of this images see on this screen this is the screen of the ms excel and you can see here the all the things properly and clearly because the all element of the ms excel screen is given here the formula bar column header and selected cell row heading and cell address formula bar you can see properly and in a clear way here so here you can see this is a selected cell here selected cell which is encircled with the black border here given this is the selected cell or you can say active cell here the active cell which is encircled with the black border the it is has a now current cell and in the this current cell we find here the current cell address also in the address bar here this is a address bar you can see here d8 it is a showing here the current cell address in the screen here and this is the column header column header you can see this is a column it is a vertical line it shows here h to here this h column it shows it is a column and row it is a 16 row header here it is a row to so when rows and column intersect to each other make here as a cell so it is a like here this is a d and it is a 8 so d8 it makes the cell and it shows here the current cell address here this so one you can see here this is all the thing given the properly and in a clean way 
formula bar you can see also formula bar here formula bar it shows here uh, when you enter any formula you can see here in the you can see your formula in the formula bar here given student you can see here the three types of the cell address or you can say the three types of the cell reference given in on on the screen here as a relative cell reference here the absolute reference and mixed reference now student you can see clearly here absolute cell reference and uh, mixed cell reference and relative reference to so this there are the three types of the references we can find in ms excel here so as a first we will talk here about the relative cell address the relative cell address we as know here the column label and row number are simply written side by side for all for all for a cell address here this means that relative cell address for a cell located in a here column as a d and a row is a 10 here so you can see here this is a given here the d d it is a here the column and 10 it is a given here as a about the row here the d10 the d10 when the column and row intersect to each other then make a cell address the d10 it is a here relative cell address d denote by here the column and 10 it is denote by here the row here so we can then row and column intersect then it make the cell address and this way it makes the relative cell address also here now student we can talk about here the absolute cell address the absolute cell address uh, we give the absolute uh, reference when we want to keep both the row and column constant I mean uh, that time we want to make the constant the both row and column to make the row or column constant we use the dollar sign so let's see this by this example as a given here student you can see this is a screen of the absolute reference uh, as uh, uh, I am showing to you because you can understand uh, in better way. Now in this example given in the figure 2.3 if we want to calculate the selling amount of the 6 Cametex uh, gloves at different rates uh, typed in the column A you can see here typed uh, in column A here it is a different different uh, uh, gloves rate here given and in the B column it is a given the selling amount in a different different uh, rate but the quantity of the gloves on here the constant so it if we want to purchase the gloves uh, at the different different rate uh, at the rate of different different price here by only six quantity so we have to make the both column and row constant here and we proceed by the dollar sign the dollar as will be here we can see here the formula as given here on the screen this is a formula of the in the given screen here dollar b dollar 2 and multiply by a 4 here putting the dollar means when we put here the dollar first then if we want to make the as a column here as column it is a given here column here as column B and a column here so we want to make here B2 as a fix here and a4 also so that why preceded he with the dollar sign the dollar it is given here dollar B dollar 2 and multiply by a4 so here both both are here the constant row and here row and column both are constant here so this way we find here the price and uh, price with this quantity 6 different different at the rate different different rate here
friend we can see here the mixed reference here and we use mixed reference when either the row or the column needs to be kept constant it is the combination of the relative and absolute reference and is therefore the called the mixed reference a good example of a problem that requires requires a mixed reference is a multiplication table as given here the multiplication table as example the student you can see here as a example as uh, here given here so now it is here the multiplication of the six here this is the here column so you can see the column here as a a it is a column and now it is a row here it is a two two here is a row where we can see of the table six and then multiply it by b1 i mean b2 c2 d2 e2 to like this we want to make the calculate with these number like as a table here so you can see here this is the as a given here the formula uh, of the mixed reference you can see here equal sign plus and dollar sign a2 multiply by b2 here on the screen you can see properly and clear way and now when we write here this uh, mixed reference mixed reference as you can see here the absolute and uh, it is the here the references about the relative so both are references here present and we can see here the uh, example of the mixed reference